There's no need to beat around the bush. Having acne fucking sucks. It makes you look worse. It can make your face look swollen. It gets itchy and irritating if you have it on your back and your skin. And more importantly, above all, it really diminishes your confidence. See, I remember even when I lost 60 pounds and started to build a physique I was rather proud of, I had so much acne on my body that I was too scared to even take off my shirt and even show off my physique and take any pictures of it. I actually don't even have many pictures of when I had a lot of bad back knee because I was too embarrassed to even have a picture of it in my camera roll. Now, I I feel like most people online that give you advice about skincare tell you how to get rid of acne, but they don't tell you why you have acne. And today I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna take you through my skincare routine that really helped me clear up my body and face when it comes to acne. But more importantly, I'm gonna tell you all the root causes of the main reasons you're probably getting a lot of acne. Now, number one, this goes without saying, it's genetics. If you have bad acne, it's probably because you're genetic. Some people out there are just blessed with clear skin. They could eat whatever they want, pick at their skin, live life like an absolute dirt ball and have perfectly clear skin. And if you are one of those people, I'm very jealous of you. But if you're like me and you're not, what are the other reasons you get it other than genetics? Now, number one, and by far the biggest reason other than genetics is simply that you pick at your skin too much. You know, when you see a pimple and you pick at it all day and play at it, that is terrible. There are very situational times when it is okay to pop a pimple. And the only time really is one, you have to wash your hands before. And two, it's gotta have a big white head that's just easy to pop and easy to get rid of. Here's my number one rule. Let's say you have a pimple right here something and then you go you pick at it a little bit i say this give it one or two efforts of popping it if it does not pop just leave it alone the number one thing you should do is either cover it with a band-aid or even better cover it with a pimple patch these are just necessities in your skincare routine that you need to invest in and the main reason is a lot of times when you pop a pimple or try to pop a pimple you're opening the pore you're pretty much opening a wound you're getting rid of all the white pus or the blackhead and you're opening a wound and you're not covering it. You're leaving it an opportunity for it to get reinfected. So stop picking at your skin so much. And more importantly, when you do and you finally pop that pimple, simply cover it with a band-aid or a pimple patch, especially overnight. I'm gonna make a guide on this another day, but you can literally get rid of any pimple, no matter the size in two days tops if you follow this strategy. Now, number two, and this is also a big one, especially for getting acne on your back and your body and stuff of that nature, Nature, and that is keeping yourself clean. And the number one biggest thing that most people do, you'll notice a lot of athletes and a lot of people into the gym have terrible acne. And that's because they're getting super sweaty during their workout or their practice. And then they just leave their shirt on for the next five hours and don't take a shower for the next five hours. This is asking yourself, to get really, really bad acne. Think about it, if you had a super sweaty shirt and then you're already hot so it opens up all your pores, if you leave all that shirt, all that sweat and all that bacteria is gonna seep into your pores and cause acne. Acne is just a bacterial infection. So the number one biggest thing, especially for back knee, and I used to have the worst back knee imaginable, is when you get sweaty, or dirty, you have to take off your clothes and either shower or just change. That is a very neglected factor and that is why you notice so many athletes, especially like football players, because they got the pad and the chin strap on, will have really bad acne and really bad skin. Is because after practice or after a game, instead of taking off your clothes and jumping straight in the shower, you'll just lay on your bed for a few hours or lay on your floor for a few hours. I mean, after all, that is the quintessential way to recover is laying on your floor after practice, but still, you've gotta at least take off your shirt or something Thing. especially if it's a tight shirt and it's all sweaty, it's gonna give you an unimaginably bad breakout. And lastly, for reasons you're probably getting acne, and I know this is debated and some people say it doesn't matter, but it is your diet. Now, I'm not saying you have to be perfectly clean, superbly healthy or anything, but it is almost without a doubt. If you start eating cleaner, your skin will start to clear up. I mean, just think about it. How would what you put into your body not translate as to what blemishes pop up on your body? I used to be the biggest non-believer of this until I I started eating cleaner and my skin started clearing up unperceivably quick because of it. Now, a lot of people say it's oily food and nuts and peanut butter and stuff like that. I don't think that, I just think it's any food that's overtly processed like chips, Oreos, all that stuff. And even worse, think of it like this. Let's say you kill a whole bag of Doritos and you decide to be a dirt ball and you don't wanna wash your hands. So you just lick off your fingers. And then after that, you start picking at your skin and playing with all the blemishes. You just got this processed poison all over your fingers, licked it off 
and now you're touching your skin. That is almost inevitably gonna cause a breakout. I've said in past videos before, if you wanna lose weight and get leaner, the healthiness of your food is not super important because calories in, calories out is how you lose weight, which is true. But also if you're eating a bunch of processed junk all day, even if it's helping you reach your weight loss goals, there's a very good chance it could be making your skin look way worse. Especially if you're not washing your hands after everything you're eating and you're touching your skin, it's gonna make your skin inevitably look worse. Now time to get into the skincare routine that helped my skin go from this to this. Now listen, I'm no dermatologist and I don't even have that much knowledge on skincare myself, but I've gone through at least a million different skincare products and none of them seemed to work for me until I adapted this. If you apply these first three tips I just gave you to your life, plus a good skincare routine, I don't care how bad your acne is, your skin will clear up. Now, the first step is to get a good face wash. I just recommend the brand CeraVe, that's the one I use. It's cheap, it's affordable. You could find it at every single grocery store you go to, even Walgreens, and it's not too harsh on your skin. It's good. That is the one I use. Of course, you could do more research or ask your dermatologist. Everybody has different skin types, but just get a good skin wash and that's all. Now, this is where most people go wrong. A lot of people will wash their skin, but they don't do anything after. The three products that changed my life after washing my face. Step number one, you wanna get a vitamin C serum. Now, I ordered this one off of TikTok shop, but you can also find it at Target. I don't know about any other grocery stores. That's usually where I just shop for my skincare stuff. But this really just closes all of your pores and makes your skin pop and accentuate much more. And it also gets rid of a lot of acne scarring, which is absolutely huge. The second thing I recommend is hyaluronic acid. Now, this is just the ordinary brand. I buy this from Target. I'm sure you could probably get it online for even cheaper. But this does similar things to vitamin C serum. It also closes your pores. But most importantly, it prevents more acne from coming up. If you start using these two in your skin, care routine you don't even need the third one if you just use these two things i promise you your skin will be glowing and it will be so clear it actually starts to shock you how much better you look let's say you're a five out of ten on the attractiveness scale having clear skin if you have a lot of acne clearing up your skin could legitimately make you go up by two or three points. So do not neglect it. And lastly, this should go without saying, just a good moisturizer. I'm also just using CeraVe. I don't really know. There's probably better ones out there, which people have much more advanced knowledge than me on skincare. I'm just telling you what works for me. But a moisturizer kind of just pulls everything together. It helps close up all your pores and helps it not get infected again. And also gives your skin kind of a pump and a glowing effect. It is very, very good. And one other product I recommend, which is highly, highly important, but not necessarily part of a skincare routine would just be pimple patches. I mentioned these earlier, whenever you pop a pimple, you wanna put these on, but I promise you, if you pop a pimple and then wash your face, hit your skincare routine and cover it with a pimple patch, I swear to God, it'll either be gone or half the size it was the next day. This is huge because acne is just a bacterial infection. So if you pop it and open the wound, you want to cover it up and seal it. Now, listen, I'm no dermatologist or skincare expert. I'm just someone who used to have really, really bad acne. And I'm telling you how I cleared it up on my face. Now, if you want to clear it up on your body, the biggest thing by far is just making sure you take off sweaty shirts and sweaty clothes the second it happens and showering immediately. It's kind of hard to apply moisturizer and vitamin C serum and hyaluronic acid to your body. So the number one thing I could recommend is just find a good unscented soap to wash your skin with. CeraVe makes their own soap. You can just use their soap or even better, if you can get your hands on African black soap, that is an absolute game changer for acne on your body. Do not neglect skincare as a part of your life. I promise you it will take you up by two or three points on the attractiveness scale and make you monumentally more confident and attractive. I hope this video helped.